commanded me to lie down in the green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, Willie? I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will Willie! Can I call you Willie? My name's Jonas Candide, Willie. I'm your executioner. Let me say right on. I sure appreciate you being here. And Willie, Thank wait a minute you. now. Willie, I'm going to show my appreciation to you by giving you the prettiest death a guy has ever had. Don't have to be scared. You just sit right down up here. Yeah. And we're gonna fetch you on your way to the fields of ambrosia in no time. Hmm? You wanna hear about the fields of ambrosia? Willie, really, fields of ambrosia was a place that only the Greeks, only the Greeks knew about. You know any Greeks? <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but the Greeks are, are Homer, Hamlet, men like that. See, I, uh, I ain't never seen it myself, naturally, but a deceased client of mine told me about it. Now, wait a minute now. now just before, before you go, before you go asking me, how could that be? I mean, how could a deceased client tell? Let me say that this fellow, Haskins was his name, was as scared as you are. Yeah, scared her. Ooh wee <laughs> Well, anyway, I heard about this by way of a, a medium. You know what a medium is? Well, it's somebody who acts as a kind of in-between between you and the outer world. Professor Sark was his fellow's name. He worked in the carnival. And he said that he had somebody who wanted to get in touch with me. Well, I, I didn't know what to think about it. But I, I went over to his tent, and I walked in. He was sitting in his tent, and he was muttering these incantations. It was the strangest thing I ever heard. Tell about that place. Green meadows and rolling hill trees, hot trees, thick with fruit. You could pick it right off the tree. And if you would ever get thirsty, you just wave your hand. said that the day changed color depending on your mood. The sun glowed soft, sweet smelling like a woman's hair. And when night came, it just stayed long enough for you to dream, get a good night's sleep, and wake up in the morning ready to catch the sun. <laughs> and you know, there's a Sound all around. Sounds of life. Yeah. And you go after the life and try to find out where it's coming from. You find beautiful women sitting by a stream. Naked. <laughs> yeah. Naked like <laughs> Yeah. Like 
like, like the French paintings that hang on museum walls. And then when they see you, they don't turn you away. <laughs> no, sir, that. They say, come on over here, Willie. Come on, Willie. Come over here. Yeah, join the party. <laughs> you see, Willie, they don't care. They don't care at all what you got in this year life. It don't make no difference. It mean, doesn't make any difference at all. They'll ask you to join them anyway. And when they do, they say, Willie, come on over here. Sit down beside me. And you know what they do? Sing your songs, they feed your grapes, and they say, Willie, Willie, please, lie down beside me, Willie. I love you, Willie. And that's how you spend your forever in the fields of ambrosia. The fields of ambrosia. I sure wish I was going with you. It's a pleasure meeting up with you, Willie. Best of luck in the next life. Okay. Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. <laughs>